Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here. Got a video for you here about building a temperature controller. Um, this can either be used for refrigeration, in this case this is going to be used for a walk-in cooler, uh, or you can use the same controller for say like a water bath for making cheese or um, uh, you know a hot water bath for making yogurt or really anything where you need to you know keep a pretty close uh, you know tolerance on your temperature of something that you're trying to do. Um, here's kind of how it works. I've got a relay, I've got a PID controller, and I've got some extension cords. First thing you're going to need if you're going to do this is you're going to need the PID controller. Um, I picked this one up eBay. Um, just you know, look for PID controller. They sell them on Amazon. I just got them a little cheaper off eBay. Um, this particular one came with the thermocouple. Um, you just need to make sure you get a thermocouple that is the same, you know, uh, range as. Uh, as your PID controller, and then you're going to either need a uh, relay, a, uh, you know, uh, an actual relay, or this is, came with a, uh, a solid state relay there, and um, a few odds and ends, and that's really about all that's in this thing. Um, basically, what you do, take your extension cord, uh, I, or I just used an extension cord because it was convenient, chop that sucker in half, um, tied my grounds together, tied my neutrals together. Your phases, which are the black ones here, you want to run on the output of your solid state relay here, where that just switches it basically. And then you run one line from the input, where it basically where it plugs into the wall here, uh, to your PID controller. And then you'd run one line from your neutrals over here to your PID controller. That's the power for it right there. And then you have your output from your PID controller here that runs to either the solenoid on your relay or the uh, you know control there on your solid state relay. And then you have your thermocouple that plugs in on the other side right there. So that's that braided line. And that's basically it. Um, these things are pretty easy to build. Um, this one took me about an hour because I had help this morning. But um, it's a pretty simple... Simple deal. The biggest pain in the butt is you better hope you get one with good instructions because programming can, programming it rather can be rather difficult. But um, yeah, so basically follow the instructions and you can have a pretty snazzy setup here. I'm gonna plug this in so you can see how it works. The whole deal lights up here. And let's see. Now since it's in refrigeration mode. It is normally open, or excuse me, normally closed. I've got the light plugged in there, uh, and it's registering 21 degrees. We'll pop it in our ice here, and you can also set this particular one to where it runs an alarm. So I think I'm going to get a, a piezoelectric buzzer and put on this thing. So um, you know, it's uh, when the uh, cooler uh, gets over a certain temperature, it alarms. Uh, this is the alarm key right here. As soon as it gets down, to, I think I set it at five degrees. There we go. It kicked off. And now once it gets down below four degrees here, the light will kick off just like that. Now if we pull it out of here, the temperature will go up. I guess I can hang on to it here so it warms up a bit. Right there, three, four, and click. There we go. Um, now I will say the uh, it took me a lot longer to figure out the... Uh, programming on this than it actually did to build the hardware and again if you do not know what you're doing here I highly recommend not doing it this is definitely something where you can electrocute yourself burn some stuff up burn your house down so yeah if you don't know what you're doing just don't mess with it oh I also put a heat sink on this solid state relay back there I just happen to have a piece of aluminum that I uh, screwed to the side of the box here in the back of the relay there just as a heat sink. But basically that's it. Um, you can use the, these controls here, turn your temperature up and down. Um, you can change it to where it's either normally open or normally closed, whether if you want to use it for refrigeration or if you want to use it for um, heating. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's rabbity apparently. And um, anyway, yeah, basically the tools you're gonna need, um, probably a cordless drill, I used a jigsaw to cut this out. You're going to need a multimeter, some electrical hand tools here, and really that's about it. I used some ring terminals that I just had laying around, um, a little bit of wire, and uh, there's another spool of wire around here somewhere, but that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple project, and one that really anybody can do if you have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of knowledge. So anyway, 
Hope that uh, helps somebody out there. Anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.